welcome to Blackout Rugby. In this video, we'll guide you through the basics and help you get your club up and running. Let's begin by constructing some key buildings. To build your stadium, click the upgrade button. Upgrading buildings allows your club to improve and provides you with rewards and new technology to learn. Construction costs some club cash and will take time to complete, but you can use tokens to complete the project immediately. Tokens are an in-game currency which you can use to buy valuable items and make cosmetic changes to your club. Now that we've completed the stadium, we've received a duffel bag. These are rewards you'll get sometimes for completing your tasks, playing matches, and more. They'll provide you with useful items like tokens, cards, club cash, and more. Let's move on to some more construction. In our stadium, we can upgrade the stands on the sides to expand our capacity and increase how many fans can attend and how much income we generate from matches. So upgrade a stand, simply click on the side and then click upgrade. Now we need to establish a training facility. This is where you place practice and study the game. Once construction is finished, we'll receive an upgrade for our training tech tree. Every building in your club has a tech tree, where you develop new technologies and new facilities to increase the productivity of the building in a variety of ways. Whenever you upgrade a building, you'll receive a point to spend however you choose. You'll get more of these upon reaching higher levels. For more information, check out our wiki or our tutorial video on grounds. Once our training facility is upgraded, we'll receive some cards, which are daily cards. There are a wide variety of cards, which you can use when playing matches, training players, negotiating player contracts, and much more. These daily cards disappear at the end of the day, but you'll also receive permanent album cards from drops as well. Each card will consume card energy, which is displayed in the top left hand corner of the card. Your club's card energy level is the blue flame in the top right hand corner of the screen. Card energy can never be purchased with tokens or any real money, which ensures that free paying users and premium users are always on the same playing field with the number of cards they can play. Now, we've got our essential buildings up and running, so it's time to head over to our club and select a sponsor for this season. Sponsors provide you with rewards in different ways. Some have a steady income with tokens every day, some reward daily play, and others provide you with better winnings from your league matches. So, you can choose the sponsor that best fits your needs and your playstyle. You can also sign a sponsor for the following season in advance, or alternatively, you can wait until the season ends. Now it's time to get to your players. Here, you can view the statistics, attributes, and skills of your entire squad. Down the bottom left, you'll see a number, which indicates what level the player is. These can be increased as the player increases with age and training. There's a lot to cover here, so we'll go more in depth with players in our examining players video. Okay, we have our squad, so now it's time to head back to the training facility. Here you can run two types of training, technical and physical. In each of these, you can create a training regime and customize the focus of each training session. These regimes can run for multiple days or just one day, depending on what you choose but players can only complete one of each category of training in a day. You can increase the maximum duration by investing in the regime tech in the training building. To customize the length of the training, drag the slider at the top of the screen. To create a training regime, you can drag a template to the days you want. Here, we'll run a back session for two days. Now all that's left to do is select the players. It's best to include players relevant to the type of training they're doing. So for a back session, We'll select the position scrum halves, fly halves, the center, the wings, and the fullbacks. Now we can play one of our cards for each training session. A great tip is to synchronize the skill and focus on the card with the skills taught in the training session. You can play any card, but it's good to consider which cards will be most effective since they all consume your club's energy. To run a training, first click activate and then run training. You can only run training once each day, but it's good to add all players to at least one technical and one physical regime. Your lineup shows which players are going to be playing in future matches and the position they're going to be playing in. You can customize which players are in which positions by dragging their icon from one spot to another. 
You can also customize the kicker and the captain of the squad by dragging the K and C icons to other players. Currently, there are three types of matches. League matches, ladder matches, and friendlies. A league is where your squad will routinely play against other teams over a 28 day period. There are 12 teams in a league and matches are automatically scheduled and run. Click the comps tab on the left to view the league your team is in. Ladder matches take place on the global ladder ranking where players can challenge each other for positions on the global leaderboard. For more information on this, check out our video called competitions. Friendlies are an instant matchmaking mode which allows your squad to get some time on the field and some experience. Friendlies won't have any effect on your ladder or league position, but also won't have any detrimental effects, like injuries. Now that you have your players on the field, it's time to sit back and let your squad do their thing. You have the basics down, so it's time to start training, winning matches, and making a legendary rugby squad.